Konnichiwa, amigos and amigoritas. Today we're going to be looking at how you send emails uh, from a Node.js app. Now to make things simple and to speed things along, I have already taken the liberty of making a very simple index page where we're going to send the email from. It has some basic styling. It has an email form that's going to have the address we're going to send things to, the subject line, an email body thing. So we're going to have a text area to actually put the email in. And then we're going to have a button that says send email. I've styled it. And the only other file I have, which you won't have from just initializing your Node.js app, is a file called email.js, which is where I've just got some of my email settings. But you don't have to use that. Um, I'm going to show you how to add your emails uh, manually. So, see what we've got. So, I have email.js. What we need to do then is create a file called server.js and we'll start editing all this. That's style.js. Okay, so we're going to create this file called server.js. We're going to have to first require a few modules. And to do that, obviously, we're going to have to install those modules as well. So the way you install a module uh, in Node.js is you type in npm. I usually um, give it administrative privileges by typing sudo first, npm install, and then whatever the thing is that you're looking for, the package, in this case, it's node mailer.save. There's no point in me doing that because it's already installed. So any of these that you need to install, that's how you install them. So let's start off. Const node mailer. Yeah, and we're going to require it. So this is how you add a package. Node mailer. The next one we need is express. So this is going to be an express app. Require. And we're going to say express. We also want body parser. Why do we want body parser? Well, body parser will enable us to get the information from that form we just sent um, very easily. So that's going to be good. We'll say const app, and then we're going to create a new instance of the express app there. Const email. This is for me. You lot don't need to do this. Um, this is a custom little file I've made just so I've got all my email settings, password and whatever sort of in the background of this video. And then we're going to say app.use. Uh, we're going to create a static, we've already created a static folder actually I already have. I just call it public. This is where the index file is. Whoopsie daisy. App.use again. Now, this, these are the settings we have to use for body parser. So, we want to say .json and we also want to set extended to true. So, um, URL encoded, I think. Yep. Extended and then uh, true. And that, that is the first that we need to do. It's really easy. So let's first actually make it sure that this actually works. So we're going to set it to listen on a port. I'm going to say port 8100. No particular reason. That's just the port I've chosen. You could choose any port you like. Okay. Then we're going to console log. Um, server is running at local. Oh, actually, no, not local. because. I'm going to say at port that. The reason I always put the port is because if you have 10 apps and you, you forget which one it is and you have to go into the file and it's a pain. So, so we're going to do it. So let's go to our terminal and let's see if this works. So uh, node server.js. Throw error. Cannot find the module body parser. Ah, I see what I've done. Body parser is body dash parser in require. I've just called it body parser over here like that. Okay. And we have another one. Oh, this this is a common error. Error um, listen address in use. So if you ever come across this, type in sudo kill all node 
minus nine. Then enter your password, it will kill the thing, and we'll be back up and running. So we know it's running now. So if I were to go to a web browser, and we'll go to localhost, uh, where are we gonna go? To that port, it will load that form that I said I made. So this is, this is what we're gonna do. This won't work at the moment, it won't do anything. Um, but this is the form that's going to, we're going to be using. So now let's let's create the logic. So what do we need to actually create? Well, to use Node Mailer, you need to create what's called a transporter, and that's where you enter your username and password for your email. We are going to need to, I think, create a function that sends the email. Okay. We are also going to need to um, have a post request where we just basically send the email so that's that's something we're going to have to do so there's not really much we've got to do but the first thing let's, let's do is we'll say we'll create the transporter this is where you say node mailer dot create transport and you say service gmail is what I'm using. There are other ver other ways of doing this if you're using Outlook, but um, Gmail is what we're using for the purposes of this. So I'm going to be saying email get Gmail, but you might or you probably will say something like um, my email at gmail.com or something along that line. Whatever your email is there, that's what you'll put there and you'll put the comma afterwards. So I'm going to go back to email, get Gmail. That's just, all that's doing is reading from this email.js file, my Gmail account. Okay, uh, and pass email, get Gmail, pass. Okay, and there you would just put your password. Okay, so that's work. We've created the transporter. Now we can use that to start sending emails. Um, so we can either create the function which is going to send the emails or we can cr read from the form. Uh, you know what, let's read from the form first. I think it's going to be the, the best, so let's do that. So we're going to say app.post um, forward slash send email form. Um, let's say rec res. Um, the way I'm going to do this is we're going to create an object, call it mail, and we're going to give it uh, two. So this is going to be email two, who we who we send the email to, and we say rec body to address. Um, so what that to address is is if we go back to index just quickly, it's the name of the input, not the ID of the input, that you'll notice these IDs, that these inputs don't have IDs. This is something that trips everyone up when you use body parser. It doesn't read IDs, it reads the name of whatever you're doing. So you might have, you know, like ID, hi there, or what, hi, whatever. You'll have an ID, it's not reading the ID, it's reading the name. Just remember that, you should be fine. So the next one we're gonna get is the subject. So, and, and uh, for this uh, form as well, you'll notice I've already put in send email form. I've told the method, the method is post. So we have to make sure that that matches over here. Okay. And um, make sure this send email form is what we're saying. Okay. So let's then say uh, we'll subject rec body. And then we'll say subject. And then we want to say body. Now, in the case of this, we can either send it plain text or we can do it as HTML. Um, I'm going to do it as HTML just for fun, but we'll get to that. Okay. Um, then what we need to do, once we've sent the email, because what, what's going to happen here is when we press the form button to say send email, right, it's going to call this method. Um, but what this will do is this redirects the web page to set forward slash send the email form. So what we need to do at the end of this, when this is finished, we need to say res redirect 
And in the case of us, because we should index, just do uh, forward slash. Okay. Um, so that, that's all good there. So let's create the function now. So I'm going to say uh, function send email. I'm going to pass that mail object. Okay. So we'll also say send email and pass mail over here. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to say we need to pass mail options. So basically to use a transporter, we're going to say we're going to create an object. Okay, I'm going to say equals um, from this is going to be our email. Now we could set this up as a as a variable, but I was going to say email get Gmail. So we'll send it from my Gmail account. Mail two is what we're going to. That's the address we're sending it to. Subject uh, will be mail dot subject and the HTML which could also be, I think, body, but like I say, I'm going to do HTML, will be mail.body. From here, we need to then use the transporter that we created to um, send the email. So we say transporter, call the send mail function, pass mail options, and then we're going to go to a higher order function error info if there's an error we want to know what that error is so we're just going to console log the error and if there's not an error well great we're going to say we've sent the email uh, email sent uh, and let's do if we get info response I think it's info response, not info res. That should work. We'll soon find out if it's gone wrong. And that is literally everything you have to do. So let's go back over to our terminal. We'll restart the terminal, uh, the server, and go over to our page. And if I open my emails as well, so I've got a blank email over here. If I say um, enter email recipient, hi there. Hi from Node.js. We we'll click send email. We should get an email. Ah, and, and then we can see here the email has been sent correctly and we have got an email pop through. There we are. So hopefully this has been useful to anyone. Hopefully I haven't rambled too much. Enjoy.